So Bruce, Jujar Kyra, secret good thing about Jujar Kyra. Well, other than he can grow his playoff beard by 11 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> uh, his secret good thing is his versatility. I really like that, that he's got the size, the speed that he can handle playing both the wing and apparently down the middle where he got a good long tryout last year and showing some real aptitude on the penalty kill. So there's a player there, he's probably a bottom sixer, but they can move him around and use him to advantage. He came on like gangbusters this year. You know, he impressed a lot of people. What did he score? 12, 11 goals, 12 goals? 11. So quite a few goals for a fourth line player, although he played some third line time. And the fear might be that he's kind of a flash in the pan. And I, and I do think his shooting percentages were a little high. But that said, uh, my secret good thing about Jujar Kyra is that he has consistently gotten better every year as a pro. Um, as a first year pro in uh, Bakersfield, I think it was Bakersfield, not Oklahoma. He was a fourth line player. He worked his way up to the third line. Till, the, till his last year, he was the top line uh, forward, used in every single situation, um, three on three, uh, power play, shorthanded. They just used the heck out of that guy. And, um, and he deserved it. Finally, mm -hmm. he breaks in with the Oilers. He was a little bit uh, if he is first year and last year, he was a credible uh, fourth line center. Uh, even better, I think, as a third line winger. Right. I, I, I think he struggles at center. Um, so why don't I give the, the worst thing about Kyra, which is as a center, mm -hmm. he really struggled to make the reads in the defensive zone. Yeah, and it's a very tough thing to do. I mean, Nugent Hopkins, Dreisaitl, and uh, McDavid all struggle with that. But he struggled in, against lesser competition doing that same job. So if we're thinking about where he's going to succeed most likely next year with the Oilers, I think it's as if I can see him succeeding as a third line winger even. But as a fourth line center, probably he can do that, but that's a little bit more of a question mark.